Hey guys, this is Martin again, and we are in our mini series for burp extensions. And today's um, extension is the 403 bypasser. So this is a very useful extension. I do not run it all the time. I typically turn it on when I encounter a 403, right? So what is a 403 is basically, um, it's an, an access forbidden um message so you are not supposed to the administrator developer has basically restricted uh, access to this specific page and this is when it starts to get interesting for security researchers right so whenever you have um, a 403 you may want to try bypasses and here is this is the explanation on the port speaker website basically um, there's a gentleman called chill northman um, who developed that extension and it's it's very straightforward to do so uh, unfortunately it is a pro extension so it only works on Burp pro but it's the 403 bypasser in the BAP store it's free but you need a pro version for it and basically um, you just install it and then you see a new tab called 403 bypass and then you can basically modify these header payloads it has some of the most common ones uh, in like X forwarded four and stuff like that and, and client IP and, and, and X real IP and, and things like that, like the, the classical ones, as well as the query payloads. Like you see a lot of like null bytes, unicodes and stuff, and you can modify those. Um, in my experience, those ones which are pre-populated typically work fine. And then all you need to do is to browse around. I cannot show you an example because I don't want to do like a live um, demonstration of this um, on, on a non um, on a non lab site basically. So, so the Portswigger labs do not have a 403 to the best of my knowledge, but basically you would just browse around now in, in, in an authorized bug bounty program. And um, whenever you, you uh, come across a 403 or something like this, then um, it will automatically fire these payloads and make, make checks on whether you can bypass it. And then typically, um, you know, sometimes you, you can bypass it, sometimes you cannot. Um, there are shell scripts for this as well, but I prefer the burp extension. And just install it and then run it. And when anything pops up, you will get alerted. Okay, I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next video.